<laughs> I don't live in a real world, Serial. I everything I've learned, I've learned from movies, which is probably not a great way to uh not a great way to learn things. Well, that's why you're um, a North Korean sympathizer now and believe <laughs> believe in some other weird whatever the other weird shit you were talking about earlier. Satanism. Satanism, yeah. You're you're a Satanist North Korean. <laughs> How do you think that would go over in North Korea? Not well, if I was into they'll, they'll, Satanism, they'll beat the devil out of you. Do you know how much they love drinking and smoking cigarettes there, though? I thought it was weird because I thought that they would be, you think, because it's a dictatorial society or whatever, that they would be very like you can't have any fun. So much drinking and so much smoking in North Korea, like constant, like everywhere. It's like the seventies in the United States. Cigarettes and drinking everywhere. Everywhere. The Utopia. North Korea. <laughs> I wish I had a uh I'm gonna get a North Korean bed. Some weird North Korean. I music. really think it I'm really I'm gonna try to get off this train, man. I'm trying to tell myself it's not the fucking promised land, but for me right now it's become home base. I feel like if you get there. You fucking make it across the border. Well, it is fucking watch some of the other side of the story. Rainbows. Watch about watch like about the atrocities in North Korea. Don't just like f like surround yourself by the flowery, lovey side of it. No, North Korea is so great. Look at look at no, the darker side. No, but the people size. who all say that, like like the Human Rights Commission, right? They say a lot of shit about North Korea. Propagandists. But even they admit they don't have evidence to prove it. They say. Well, we think it happened, but they won't let our government, they won't let our cameras in, they won't let reporters in, they won't let journalists in, so we can't actually prove it. Yeah, I'm just... And then I go... If it was all well, perfect and hunky dory they'd let people take pictures. Or maybe it's the fucking prompt. Like, that's what I gotta, I gotta convince myself that it's not Candyland. Because right now... It's the fucking you're licorice you're buying river. The North Korean the propaganda. <laughs> you just chose a different flavor of propaganda. Are you saying that the great leader has sold me a bill of goods? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you just started, you know, <laughs> sipping some other brand of tea, and now you're North Korean socialist or communist or whatever they are. <laughs> the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea. The DPRK. That's what they call it. I know because I'm basically, I've really thought so many times. Uh, I always think in uh, very uh, catastrophic terms. And I kept thinking, well, if things Korea. go south, I'm. <laughs> They'll shoot you. You're not allowed in North Korea. I've thought that so many times. Can you imagine the surprise when I walk up and I fucking cross the DMC and they I instantly throw me in some torture chamber? What, are you going to walk through the and I'm gates? Like, what, guys, they'll stop where's you. Where's the free? Are you going to run through the jungle full of landmines and fucking snare traps and shit? What is your plan for getting uh, to North Korea? Well, all the Westerners, because I, again, I told you I watched so many documentaries about it. One of the guys defected in the Korean War. He hated the fucking war. He thought it was all bullshit. bullshit. And he is a uh, boss. The, the straw that broke the camel's back is his boss wouldn't let him go have sex with the prostitutes in South Korea. So he got all pissed at his general. And he said, fuck this. I'm going to North Korea. And he like walked through a minefield. Like literally. Like what you just said. That's what he did. He was like, well, I really walked carefully and I hope that I didn't blow up. But I didn't really give a shit because my general didn't let me go see the prostitutes. And he walked through the minefield with the right conviction right up into North Korea. You can do anything. But the interesting thing was, here's why it might work for me, is what North Korea loves more than anything is a Westerner who will go over there and praise the fuck out of them. And because he was like, yeah, I'll star in your movies. And I will, uh, you know, go on TV and talk about how great North Korea is. He never missed any rations. He still gets his 800. I actually don't know how much this is. He gets 800 grams of rice a day. That's his ration. 
I don't. That could be the most rice ever, or that could be grams. A, a thimble full of rice. I actually don't know how much that is. He gets eight hundred grams of rice a day. That was his rations. Okay, he gets eight hundred. Eight hundred grams. That's is that a shitload of rice, or is that a little bitty bit of rice? Twenty-eight ounces. Or is that like a? Uh, let's do. How many ounces are? Why? Well, I still don't know how much that is. You know. Yeah, twenty-eight ounces to say pounds. Oh yeah, I guess pound would work because uh, a pound of rice would be a shitload of rice a day. Twenty-eight ounces is one, uh, almost like one and three quarter pounds. That's a lot of rice, bro. What? That motherfucker was getting rice out the ass. Like too much rice. Too much rice. He's eating a pound rice? and a half, or pound and three quarters of rice a day. Well, and what's crazy is he has uh, Western kids, and it, what's weird about North Korea, it's a homogenous society. So when they see anyone who's not like clearly Korean, they stand out like crazy stand out. And he raised his kids there. His kids have got free college. His kids have got... I'm doing it again. Fuck, I gotta stop. I'm doing it again. This is the second episode in a row I've wrapped up by fucking... <laughs> praising North Korea. I can't do this anymore. <laughs>